she followed her mama's footsteps and I followed what God taught me. She didn't she didn't sleep around until after she got married, amen. And that's what I tell, that's what I tell young women. You don't have to who said you gotta sleep with a man just to get a man? Who said that? Now I'm not saying we don't make our we don't we don't we all make mistakes. Ain't I I don't have no crown around my head saying that I have not made mistakes. I have made mistakes. I slipped and fell. I've made I've made mistakes and I've been embarrassed about it. But you you know what I'm saying? You get on your knees and you ask God to forgive you and you keep stepping. You take you you don't you don't wallow in that mess. You get on up from there and you let God just continue to work with you and in you and through you. Because you know what, young women, you don't know what example you are to somebody else. Somebody else needs to see your light shine. I couldn't talk like this if I didn't have a mentor to tell me now, you know, Elaine, let me, one more thing I got to say. Say it, baby. Okay. I, I, you know, you're young and you want to do all kinds of stuff. I, I got my ears pierced. I just, I teach Sunday school, so I tell the young people to abstain from sex. I don't care. I'm not embarrassed. I'm a Sunday school teacher. I tell my young people, they're not my young people, but I tell the young people in my class to abstain. This vessel is, is supposed to be for your husband, not just for every man that walks down the street. That's not for them. That's for whoever God gives you. Amen? And then you can enjoy the pleasures of everything else. Okay? But, you know, my pastor would, it's like every time I would make a move over here, what are you doing that for? Why do you got that ex extra hole in your ear? Why do you got, um, them anklets on? Why do you got toe rings on? Now, there's nothing wrong with that. If God don't convict you, that's cool. But I'm just saying, every time I went to make a move, she put me in check right then and there. And I'm like, dang, I'm young, I'm in my 20s. Not now. But, <laughs> you know, I was in my 20s, and I'm like, dang, I can't do nothing. You know, what can I do? You know, and I thought this life was boring because I didn't know. Okay, I went down in Jesus' name when I was, what, 18? That's a long time. And I'm 46. That's a long time. And you know what? And I'm still happy with Jesus. And I'm still waiting on God. Okay? A lot of people have come to say, you know, God told me that you know. If God ain't told me and he only told you something wrong with that picture. Okay? You ain't gonna trap me into something I can't get myself out of. Okay? Now I'm not saying I didn't go there one day. That's what I'm saying. You gotta be careful and make sure that that is God telling you who you're supposed to be with. I got divorced and got lonely, you know, that, that's life. And so some, some, some man was trying to sweep me off my feet, and because I was lonely, I let him sweep me off my feet. And I began to think, and I'm like, Lord, I knew it wasn't right. God told me, you put yourself in it, you get yourself out. I said, you know what, wait a minute, this is only six months I can get an annulment. I don't care. I'm telling my business, who cares? If it's to help somebody. You know, we ain't got no business when it comes to God because who cares? Who cares? It's all about, you know, empowering women into what you know. You understand what I'm saying? I would hate to sit here and tell y'all to stay and I'm sleeping around with him down the street. Oh, y'all didn't see me at the liquor store getting getting some booze or, you know, hitting blunts and stuff. Okay. All right? But it's all, my, my motive today is basically just to empower women. Y'all can make it. If you're not married, if you're not married, just wait on God. Wait on God. Wait. What you're in a big hurry for? Wait. wait on God. Because you know what? You're going to slip up, up and make a mistake and get with somebody that, oh, my God. He thought I had all kinds of money. Okay? What? I don't have to look like I'm poor. I can still look like I'm a million bucks. You know what? Because Jesus is my husband. Okay? I said to myself, Lord, as long as I got a car, as long as I got a place to stay, what do I need with anything for? If you don't give it to me. Another thing. Financially, I didn't have no money. 
I prayed. I was living paycheck to paycheck like everybody else, maybe under paycheck, you know, under the paycheck. God bless me. I work for the county now, Riverside, mental health. So it's like when you wait on God, he'll give you exactly what you want, exactly what you want. My car broke down. I'm like, Lord, okay, now what? I ain't got no husband. I ain't got no man. I mean, you know, hey, what you going to do? You know, I have to come to you. You my husband. You got to supply that need. I need to get from point A to point B. Last year, he blessed me with a car. So I'm just saying, if you wait on God, he will fix it for you. Please, everybody, every woman, wait on God. to love us. But if that man is not walking before God, if he's not, he's going to treat you like crap. He will treat you like crap. He will abuse you. He will take advantage of you. He will use you. Okay, so if you're not going to somebody's church, please find a church home to go to so you can learn about Jesus. Amen? Bring my strength in God. Amen.